Today on Cabela's Deer Gear TV, we're looking back at our favorite hunts with the Garmin Zero bow sight. We'll tell you what we learned from each experience and why the Garmin Zero is still a revolutionary tool in the hunting world. All this and more here on Cabela's Deer Gear TV. Every year there's innovations in everything, new cars, uh, your hunting gear, your fishing gear, whatever it may be. And, and I think that's, and I've said it many times, one of the coolest things about what I get to do is because a lot of times I'll see that innovation a year in advance. But as I look after that period, two and three years later, a lot of times I, I always look back at some of those products and I, I'm like, oh, that really didn't even make a stir. And some of them absolutely lit the world on fire. And one of those is the Garmin Zero. Uh, love it or hate it, that was the interesting thing about it. Uh, you had some people talk about how it's gonna make hunting uh, it's not even hard anymore, there's nothing to it. And then other people were like, wow, this is a revolutionary product that is really gonna make hunting more ethical. I always went to the more ethical side. That side is so smart, it's far smarter than all of us, but it still can't control your emotions. It can't control buck fever for you. It can't control the mistakes that you build, but it's gonna help you as a hunter and as an archer eliminate certain things that were, you know, mechanical that were, that, that you know, human error had no factor in. What it does is it takes away that ranging factor. It takes away that guesstimation more than anything. It takes away you wondering how far it is if that deer has moved or that target has moved from when you might have ranged it. So it allows you as the, as the shooter to know with confidence once you take that range and you drop that pin through using the sight that that's the exact spot. So all you have to concentrate on at that point is your mechanical, the release your your actual flow of that shot but that's hard for a lot of hunters a lot of people get buck fever and can't control that and, and they can have the best devices in the world and not control where the arrow's going to hit the neat thing about the garmin zero is is watching people learn and evolve and practice with it you know i still tell the story often of, of my first times using it uh, we didn't even really understand, you know, how to use it. We, we didn't understand the whole pin and how it was coming out. There was no directions. There was no uh, YouTube tutorials when we got it. There was no, nothing else to go off of. And so we had to learn it through trial and error. Now, over time, I realized the power of this, uh, this tool that the Garmin Zero is for a hunter and for an archer. And what I do with mine is I actually set up a lot of profiles. I've got mechanical profiles for one weight of a broadhead, I've got um, fixed broadheads, I've got my target on there, and I don't have to worry about changing my sight. It's all stored right inside my Garmin Zero. I also can sync it to my watch if I need to put waypoints out there when I take a shot or I want to mark a place that it's, that it's run off to. I can change so many things within that, uh, within that site to even tell me that I'm torquing my bow a little left or a little right when I'm, when I'm practicing to eliminate flaws in my shooting. I mean, it is just a very intuitive tool that helps you be more accurate. Check out the Garmin Zero Bow Sight for yourself at Garmin.com. When we return, we'll kick off our favorite Garmin Zero hunts. Stay tuned. Deer Gear is brought to you by Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Your adventure starts here. Yamaha's proven off-road ATVs and side-by-side -side vehicles. Garmin Zero Bow Sight. Leave the guesswork behind. We know if you found one crappie, you may have found a thousand. We know the joy of getting your boots back in the mud. We know the journey can be more rewarding than the destination. We know the great outdoors. We love the great outdoors. Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Stop by today for huge savings on the gear you need and the brand you trust. Plus free two day shipping at BassPro.com and Cabela's.com. How do you aim a 36-yard shot with a 30-yard fixed pin at a 15-degree angle with a 7-inch holdover without moving a single pin? Easy. You get one of these. Zero. The auto-ranging digital bow sight. 
from Garmin. In this episode, we're going to look back at some of our favorite bow hunts with the Garmin Zero, and we'll kick things off with Garmin's own Rayhan the Nas bow hunt in South Texas. We're going to look at some cool hunts with some people that took the Garmin Zero out. Uh, Rayhan from Garmin, uh, he's a lifelong hunter. His big passions is upland game bird hunting, uh, but he's deer hunted many times before. And through his position at Garmin, he spent a lot of time preparing and learning and getting ready to be able to hunt with the Garmin Zero because it's an all new process. When we set in, it was kind of crazy. Almost immediately, we had deer coming in. I didn't even have time to put on my coat. A few small bucks um, wasn't what we were looking for, but that's patience. I guess it's a virtue. You know, out of the corner of my eye, you know, I see this really, really nice buck coming through, and I just caught a glimpse of him, and so immediately just kind of stopped moving. He was staying in a thicker drawl area, so just kind of slowly got back, settled in, and uh, got a really good look at him. When he gave me a little bit more of a chance to look at him, you could tell he was an old deer. You could tell that this was kind of his turf and he'd been here for a while. He had that sagging belly. He looked like he was just a little bit older, maybe, maybe smaller than he should have been. Just a really, really nice, mature deer. And seeing that deer, I had a little bit of buck fever and it, it's kind of this weird, half crouching, half standing position as you're getting up. So you may see me shaking just a little bit on that one and that's all right, you know, good deer deserves that. You know, communicating with Rusty, our cameraman, he's awesome does a great job. One of the things in that tripod is tough is that one I was on the swivel seat, so he was behind me. He was yelling at me, hold on, hold on, hold on. But with the wind and me focused on that buck, I could not hear him for the life of me. That deer came in. Uh, he was at a little over 15 yards, 12 yards. And I think I got him. I think that was a pretty good shot. As soon as that arrow's gone, you know, we, the work's not done. You still got a lot more to, to do, but you know, I feel like I was shaking like a leaf. I was so happy. And one of the first things we did was we, we got out that inReach and we sent Wade a message saying, hey, buck down, you know, we got it. After the shot, you know, you always want to see a deer go down as quickly as it can. And when it ducks into that brush, it starts kind of creeping in your mind, the what ifs. In the stand, we could see there was blood right by the arrow. There's a little bit on the tree, so you know we knew that we had made a good shot on it. But sometimes it doesn't, you know, immediately bleed as much as you want for a track. And so for that first little bit, we were seeing spots here, spots there. That's when your gut kind of starts flipping, and you start running through everything again. And you know, did I do this right? Did I do that right? Was it a, the shot that I thought it was? And you know, at that point, all you can do is really start tracking it and start looking. And luckily we have you know, some great people here and almost immediately we came on just nice, nice blood for it. Two spots of it, so it looked like it was from both sides. I think probably within another 10, 15 yards, somebody hollered out. And when they hollered out, I knew, it, I knew we had it. I was uh, pretty worried there right after we got down out of the tree. There wasn't as much blood as I had hoped and uh, it kind of died off there a little bit, but we caught onto a nice, nice patch. And here he is. <laughs> I mean, yeah. What an awesome deer. When you flash back to Rayhan's hunt, 
what you're seeing is, is a guy that spent untold hours practicing, learning the zero sight, wanting to do the best that he could on the hunt if he was if he was given an opportunity to take a shot and all that practice paid off uh, you know the site's going to perform how the site is designed to but you as the hunter you've always got to remember this i don't care whether what site you're using or what gear you're using you're only as good as the practice you're only as good as that muscle memory in there and you can tell ray Holland spent a lot of time dialing it in you know, when we come back, we're going to go to another hunt. We're actually going to head to Kentucky, meet up with Steve Nessel, and he absolutely loves to archery hunt. And he and I both have fallen in love with hunting in Kentucky. And this hunt, however, will be a little different. It will be his first time bow hunting with the Garmin Zero. Deer Gear is brought to you by Hi Viz. See what you've been missing. Ten point crossbows. Perfection lives here. Wiley X. Go confidently. Stealth Cam, proven. Inside every Yamaha lives the heart and soul of a competitor. The DNA of a champion. When you ride with us, it revs your heart and becomes a part of you too. The Thompson Center Compass II, a feature-rich rifle packed with value and a higher standard of reliable accuracy. Now with generation two trigger and threaded muzzle, offered in scoped and non-scoped versions and in a wide variety of calibers, from the range, to the fields, to the mountains, TC has a rifle to match every hunter's needs. Continuing our reflection on our memorable hunts with the Garmin Zero bow sight, we find ourselves in Kentucky hunting velvet whitetail. You know, several years ago, I went on my first Kentucky hunt with Salt River Outfitters and really, really enjoyed it, loved everything about it, and look forward to it now. Uh, it's an early September hunt. The deer are mostly still in velvet at that time or just coming into hard antler. Uh, it gives me another reason to shoot a lot in the summertime. I shoot more now in July uh, than I ever do, and I shoot July and August getting ready for these September hunts, and in this case, we spent some time kind of helping Steve get prepared for his first hunt ever with a Garmin Z. Uh, it's my first year shooting the Garmin Zero. Um, to be honest, uh, I'm super stoked to be doing it. I'm really happy to finally have it on my bow. It's really helped me uh, get to be a better bow shot, I think, through the sight, if that makes sense, just in, in learning what it'll tell me about my shot and what I need to do to improve my shots, just in target practicing, just in preparing for getting out in season. Um, so hopefully, you know, I haven't had a, a chance to throw an arrow through the bow with this thing actually pointed at an animal, but just practicing with it all summer, um, I've really grown to love it, to be honest. Uh, it's, it's elevated my game, I hope, and uh, if it hasn't, it's not because of, of, the, of the piece of equipment, it's because of me. It's, it's been fun to learn how to use, and I look forward to using it. Really, I can't imagine even going backwards now. We get a cool velvet buck that's actually in the stages of shedding its uh, shedding its velvet like in real time, right there, right in front of us. Um, probably as we get to be about six, seven o'clock that night, and he walks straight out of our lives to the left. And I knew that something was going to have to happen sooner, otherwise we we're going to get down and go talk about a game plan for the next day. Moving off to my left, and it's not an it's not a, a velvet deer, but it's a big hard horn hard horn buck, and uh, I'm just. If he's coming from my left, I just hope he comes in, turns right, and gives me an opportunity. And it's right on the edge, and I can't see it very well. And just looking at it, he's got it. He's got good footage of that deer. It's down off, just right on the tree line, right on the edge, and it's feeding, and he's on it. And then here comes the deer I saw.
say? Did you say? Looks like we gotta pass through. Um, <laughs> I feel am, better now, don't you? I feel better. I feel a lot better. Yeah, we're still gonna do exactly what I just said, though. We're gonna walk straight out of here. I think it still felt low. I'm just hoping we did enough damage. The rage is deployed, and yeah, I feel better. So, sticking to the plan. I do feel a lot better. Oh, jeez. Up high, he jumped right here. Oh, wow. Here. 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 Oh! <laughs> I <tried. laughs> Get in hey, there, dude. buddy. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Making a great shot and knowing you made a great shot, I don't, I don't care what you're hunting with, is one of the most euphoric feelings as a hunter because you know you've done right by the deer and, and not every time is that going to happen. I don't care how many years you hunt, you know, things are going to go wrong, mishaps are going to happen. You know, for me personally, I can tell you, even after all the practice, sitting in actually the exact same stand, I, I shot too soon, I shot too fast, I didn't settle in. This beautiful 10 point came out, I shot him low, didn't, it was not a mortal hit, and this deer ran off. And that shows you controlling your emotions is, is still the key. And as much time as I practiced with the Garmin Zero, had my shot right there, but I rushed the shot. So you still have to be prepared. That's a key thing to always keep in mind on that Garmin Zero. Well, congratulate Steve. My hunt will continue on next year in Kentucky. And when we come back, we'll pick up the action with Clark Winlet as he hunts a new piece of property in Texas. Deer Gear is brought to you by Conquest Sense, Hunting and Dog Sense, Sawyer Products, we keep you outdoors, Performance Center by Smith & Wesson, performance when it matters most. This changes everything. The Ultra Compact Vapor RS 470. The AccuSlide Safety Cocking System revolutionizes the crossbow market. Simply backwind the handle, stopping at any point without fear of damage, injury, or losing control. Its reverse draw design generates 470 V per second. Its three and a half pound zero creep trigger delivers same hole accuracy. The all new Vapor RS 470 from 10 Point. <laughs> We'll conclude our show about the Garmin Zero with Clark Winlitz as he hunts land that was once underwater. You know, it's exciting as a hunter, you know, new products, new hunting places, new trips, destinations, new people to go hunt with. All of that is, is one of the big reasons many of us hunt, and, and Clark's no different. He's got access to a property now, not too far from uh, Corsicana outside of Richland Chambers, and he's gonna be heading up there where he's got a ground blind set up because some scouting cameras have been showing a lot of activity in that area. This country we're sitting in, was underwater all of last deer season. There was nothing here that wasn't flooded. It was flooded all year long. And I mean, these deer, they, they weren't even here. I mean, they've all, they all left and then they all came back. Where they went, I don't have any idea, but there wasn't any deer living right here a year ago right now. And now 
there's just deer all over the place. So it's really intriguing to get in here and see what you see. We're kind of hunting an open timber bottom right here. There's a lot of acorn trees. Now we've got our stand sitting in the middle of a grove of acorn trees. So I feel like there's a good chance the deer's gonna be somewhat close. But if he's 30, I'm, I'm proficient at 30. All I gotta do is when I draw back, I range the deer, it puts me a pin up, bam, I shoot. So it doesn't matter how far he is. I don't have that extra step of using that range finder. Garmin Zero, check that out. What an intense hunt. I mean, literally the most intense hunt I've ever been on. The deer comes in. We're in this amazing acorn patch right here. I don't know how we got here, but we just did. And they were eating acorns and they wanted to be right here. And I had a shot 28 yards. And I draw back and I release the arrow. It's going right at the deer i mean like right at the vitals and he hits this little bitty stick i mean it's a little bitty and it and it bears off but it didn't scare that doe that bad she comes around the blind and is eating acorns three yards from the blind she's eating she i mean she wouldn't leave the acorns well the doe i mean the buck is not leaving the doe so i mean he was nervous but you know he they calm back down and then the doe comes actually three yards from the blind stops and the buck finally gets and i got this little bitty opening i really can't hardly make a shot through it but i decided to go ahead and do it my cameraman's like you gotta do it you gotta do it so i finally squeezed it out through there i hit the actually edge of the blind but got it on it 18 yards garmin zero sight bam <laughs> all right that was Awesome, we saw him fall. <laughs> oh, God, look at that guy. <laughs> he is so awesome. That is, I'm really proud of that deer. I mean, we came to a ranch we never seen before. We get in here, we've got, this is our second full day to hunt, and bam, look at that mass. <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> mm. That's so that will conclude this episode of Cabela's Deer Gear TV. We'll see you next time. We plan all year for this. We hone our skills. We have confidence in the gear we choose. We pour over thousands of images and videos. When the time comes, will you be ready? Introducing the all new 4K camera by Stealth Cam. Proven. What does it take to make Evercom deer scent? It takes a deer farmer who raises whitetails. It takes mixing the special blend of Evercom, testing each batch. It smells like deer. And then pouring each container. Each container is cleaned, examined, and packaged for shipping. It takes the finest deer herd and a great team of people to make the best hunting scent available. Evercom from Conquest Scents. From sun up to sun down, day in and day out, 
we work hard, we play hard, and to keep us going during those long hours, we demand performance. Angle Coolers, the original high performance cooler. From the backwoods to the backyard, Sawyer's Permethrin, odorless insect repellent, repels and kills mosquitoes, ticks, and other harmful insects. And with just one application lasting for up to six weeks, you can enjoy the outdoors as much as we do. <laughs> Sawyer, we keep you outdoors. I came back from Afghanistan with a traumatic brain injury. I couldn't talk. I still can't talk right. I didn't want to leave the house. Then my wife, God bless her, she got me off the couch and said, hey, enough's enough. You got to get back outdoors. The hunting gave me a whole new purpose, you know. It sped up my recovery big time. When I was deployed, I trusted Trigicon, Con, and I still do today. Sergeant Rob Gustafson, U.S. Army retired. Trigicon, brilliant aiming solutions.